Welcome to the show, Brock Page here, random sports picks for fun. Thanks for tuning in to my third and final installment of my NFL Week 13 picks. And without any further ado, let's get into them. First game, the Philadelphia Eagles traveling to Seattle to take on the Seahawks in the primetime game. We got ourselves an 8.30 Eastern kickoff at the 12th man. Philadelphia opened up the betting as the six-point favorites and the total at 48 flat. Since the betting opened up, though, we've seen a good amount of that early money come pouring in on the Seahawks and the under. That's going to move those lines to the birds, minus four and a half. I'm talking about the Eagles, by the way. Minus four and a half with the total moving slightly downward to 47 and a half. Currently, Philadelphia is the $2.40 favorites to win this one outright. And at the moment, the Seahawks are taking just 43% of the public money. So look for them to possibly be catching another half a point by kickoff if that trend continues. And if you're liking Philly in this one, you're completely justified in your wager. These guys have been absolutely dominant when it comes to covering the spread. So far, the Eagles have gone 9-2 and two against the spread overall and 4-1 covering on the road. They're also 7-1 covering when laying the points and 4-1 covering in games at the current posted total. The Birds against the spread are also 2-0 as the official road favorite and 3-1 versus teams over 500. The Eagles are currently on a nine-game winning streak going 8-1 against the spread in the process. They're going up against a Seattle team who struggled to cover in their last Five games. The Seahawks have failed to cover in four of their last five, to be exact. They've also covered just four of 11 overall and one of five at Century Link Field. Now, scoring wives, we've seen a good amount of unders in both teams' games. Both organizations are three and one to the under in their last four. The Seahawks gave up just 15 points per contest on average. In those three unders. Meanwhile, on the other side, the Eagles' D has been absolutely dominant, giving up just seven points per contest in their last three unders as well. All told, I'm going to buy it down and take the Eagles minus four with the under 47 and a half.